Mince pies are one of my absolute favourite treats during the festive period and it's quite sad that we only get to see them during the month of November, December and then they disappear for the rest of the year. I did share a picture of mince pies on my Instagram this week and a lot of people were confused thinking that they are savoury pies but actually they are a dessert, a sweet treat. So they're not made from meat, they're made from fruit. These are the perfect little treat to bake and you can freeze them and then when you have guests over, you can whip them out and they will be really happy and delighted with them. So yes, let's make some delicious mince pies together and really get into the festive spirit. To begin, I'm taking the flour and butter and adding it to the blender. Make sure your butter is chilled and it works better if you cut it into squares. I didn't do this and it was harder to blend. Pulsing in a blender will give you fine breadcrumbs, but you can also do it by hand by rubbing the flour and butter together with your fingers. I'm transferring the breadcrumbs into a bowl and to that I will add almond flour, sugar and a little water. Then I'm going to knead this together to form a dough. You're going to chill the dough in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Next, I'm cutting golden marzipan into little chunks. I will add this along with a shot of sherry into our mincemeat and stir together. Mincemeat is not beef, it is actually a mixture of dried fruit, spices and distilled spirits. If you haven't tried it, you must. The pastry has been chilling for half an hour and now I'm going to roll it out thinly and cut 12 discs with a glass. These will be our pastry cases. Now I'm filling the cases with the minced meat mixture. To finish, I'm cutting stars out of the dough and these will go on top of our pies. Although this does work, it would probably be better if you could find a slightly bigger star cut out.
To begin, I'm painting my plain box in Farron Ball's original white, which is actually a light shade of green. I'll give it two coats of paint and let it dry for about 45 minutes. I have these cute napkins from Waitrose and I'm cutting them out to stick on top of the box. Napkins are ideal to use for decoupage because they are so thin and look like they've been painted on when you glue them down. I'm applying a thin layer of PVA glue to the lid and then carefully placing the first soldier in position. I'll then go over him with a brush. Once you are happy with the design, apply a thick layer of the glue over the whole area and this will provide protection and shine. Next I'm working on the sides of the box. I'm going to use the same soldiers but cut them in half so that they fit on the side. I'll place them all the way around except on the front side which will be kept free for the lock and key hardware. And now back to the lid, I'm going to glue gold ribbon around the edges. I found that wearing gloves makes things a lot easier, also your hands can get quite mucky from the glue, so this will keep your work neat and clean.
really pleased with how the box turned out. It was an easy task to do, so simple, you don't need to be an artist, you can just literally cut out pictures, use a bit of your imagination and add some little details that make it a bit special. And I think what I'm going to do with this is make some truffles. So for Valentine's Day last year, I made truffles and I'll probably do some Christmas ones and make this into a little bit of a, a gift box for that reason. So yeah, try it out. I'm just at the Balmoral Hotel here in Edinburgh to see the Christmas tree and have a cocktail in their amazing bar, Bar Prince. Every Thursday and Saturday until December the 9th, there will be live music and drinks. A great place to meet with friends and enjoy the season. It's just what I needed after a very busy day. Just got something fun for my special one, but my love don't cost a dime. Waiting for Santa to come, he'll be knocking on. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's episode and found it fun and useful. I will see you next Friday, but until then, have a really great weekend and a wonderful week ahead. Bye bye. The three wisest men, but I got an open heart. If you feel alone, just stop by my home. I don't care about who you are. If you know.